watching What's New LA and I'm here next to the wonderful Liel Colette. Hi Liel. Hi. <laughs> How are you this evening? Well, I'm doing great. I just had a wonderful time performing in this huge event and I had this huge show called Loving the Silent Tears. Uh, we were singing the songs of Supreme Master Ching Hai who wrote the beautiful poems which are all about peace and accepting one another and loving um, each other and loving nature and respecting the world that we are living in and it was really exciting for me because I got to share a stage um, with a Lebanese and Iranian singer and this is something that doesn't happen every day so this was a really huge moment for me and I think this really represents the message of peace having the three of us on the same stage How long are you working on this play? Um, we, I've been working on it for less than a month <laughs> which sounds weird because it's such a huge show um, but yeah we got it all together really quick they started before and then the case the cast came and the singers and everyone and we just made it happen it was magical it just naturally came together I like your dress by the way white and blue <laughs> yeah mistake, right? yeah no uh, it was meant to represent the Israeli flag so I'm very very proud that I was able to wear this the costume uh, tell me um, What's the name of the director? It's, it's not just a director, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, his name is Vincent Peterson, and it was such a huge honor and just like a great pleasure working with him because, well, he's not only such a nice person and really so artistic and beautiful, um, his soul, um, but he's also the one who directed the Michael Jackson tours and Madonna and the list is very long, all the big names. So I just had a wonderful time working with him and with the great um, choreographer Tony Story, um, who did Boney Story, who did the uh, high school musicals and it was just such an amazing experience that I will never forget. It's only me or that is a real shame that it's going to be one time show? I'm really upset about it too. <laughs> because it was really special having all these great performers from all over the world each one of them rep represented a different country it was 16 countries um, and I think this is something that was never done before so I think it stands out and I wish we could have done it again but unfortunately it was only a one-time show just to honor the Supreme Master Ching Hai for her. You're really talented. You were only 14 when you were celebrating and singing a duet with the President of the United States. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> this moment you will never forget. No one will forget it, right? <laughs> well, when I see it, I'm still surprised sometimes, like from the confidence that I had <laughs> to invite him on stage and sing with me. Um, but I guess it was also because I was only 14. Oh, that's our song now playing. And I didn't realize how big this moment really was for us. Like, for me to stand next to the president, uh, Bill Clinton. Um, these days I'm not sure if I would have the chutzpah <laughs> to do it again. Uh, but it gave me so much and he has such a wonderful person and um, something like that will always stay in my heart. You have an amazing voice. And I, I want to ask you about your new album. Um, yeah, my new album is called Ray of Hope. And Actually, I just got to see it yesterday for the first time, printed, just out of the factory. So I'm so excited about it. It's called Ray of Hope and it's based on the name uh, of the song that President Shimon Peres wrote for me, Ray of Hope, and I had the huge honor to compose the song. And uh, it's going to be released in January and until then it will be released through p the PBS stations. I'm now in the middle of a PBS uh, special tour visiting the stations around the country so I'm very excited about it. And next year there will be like an official tour starting, a concert. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hope that the people will enjoy my music and the album. I want to wish you good luck. And when we came in at the gate, they gave us a book. And in this book, every artist that's going to sing something in this show, beautiful musical, had a page. And your page looked wonderful as an activist towards uh, peace. Yeah. Well, it's something, it's something that is really important for me since, you know, I come, you come from Israel and we experience the, the war. We know how it's like to grow up in the Middle East. So it's really important for me to send a message of peace and to share this story with, with the world and just you know, let them know that eventually we just want to live in a peaceful world. And I, I'm guessing this is why they also wanted me to perform in this musical because it's the same message of just 
accepting one another and learning to live together. This musical, uh, it's worth to mention that it's pro to be vegan, it's protecting animals, and it's pro peace, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what her poems and her message is all about, and that's the messages that she's sending, you know, through her songs. I want to wish you good luck with your new album. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Liel Colette. You're watching What's New LA?